Disney Princess The Little Mermaid The Secret of the Star Show. Okay. Do, re, me, ba, so, la, ti, do. Very good, learned Princess Ariel of Clones. It was a bright and sunny morning in the village. Ariel was giving her young friend Long a singing lesson. Why don't we try this one next? Ariel pointed to a song in her music book. Lush's eyes sparkled. The Song of the Sea. That reminds me of my new best friend. What's your friend's name? Ariel asked. Nara suddenly friends him. Um, I'm not sure you know her, but we love playing together. She grinned at the clock. I'm meeting her at, right after our lesson. Maybe I'll sing the song of the sea for her too. Lady that afternoon. Ariel visited her sisters by the ocean. Ariel, I'm drinking in a Thanks that out. We brought you a present. She handed Ariel a shimmery shell shaped like a star. It had a decorating written tie to the top. It's beautiful, Ariel gasped. Where did you find it? It was calm in the center. And then King exclaimed, It's a star shell. It's a Oh, two grand wishes. Ariel looked at the sisters exactly. Shall we try it? They each took turns making one wish. But nothing happened. That's all right, Ariel said. She tried to rip it around her neck to wear it to share shell like a necklace. It's a beautiful gift. Now I will carry a part of the sea whatever I go. Do you need the hiccups? It's not true. I can't believe it. We decide to do. As the Ariel walked back the, to the village, she paused and entered the cottage. <coughs> Suddenly, Liza's father missing her. King running out. Princess Ariel, it's early with you. He shouted upset. No, Ariel! What has something happened? Laura <gasps> went to, to play with a friend after our music lesson. But she never came back. Miss Erhansen exclaimed. I checked it with all her school friends. Laura isn't with any of them. I hope That's she fine. hasn't That's gotten fine. lost. Lauren wanted that she had made a new friend, Ariel said. Maybe they're still playing and they lost track of time. Karen stares a clue in her room about who this is and where we could find her together. They check the girl's room, check it on in the desk. Where school drawings and a pink journal open to an entry. Dear Jerry, I met um, a new American friend by the ocean. Her name is Clausen. We play together every day this week. She even gave me a beautiful necklace, Sinka said, not to tell anyone about our secret friendship. But that's okay. It's fun having a secret friend. I'm going to buy her a treat from a person shop. Ariel and Mrs. Sister agreed to split up and seem to alert of Mrs. Hansen when to ask the village is a new Lacasia. Ariel heard it to the Shimpartly shop. Hmm, the baker said. When Ariel explained what ha had happened, yes, I do remember. There was a stopping by. She wanted string hooks. <laughs> Can you imagine? Just then, a little girl named Lancer dancing into the bakery with her mother. 
she handed the baker a colorful card. He smiled. Why, it's a thank you note. It was part of a school school cursor. <laughs> As the mother said, Miss Tong asked the students to write down and not that they wanted to thank you for her birthday cake. Cake! Are you looks thoughtful? Miss Todd was closest each other to. That mean Lara would have had the same in her as she wrote a thank you note to Kristen for the necklace. And I would hold another clue. At the school, the teacher was happy to show oh, Ariel the thank you notes. Larsa was written on a bright yellow card. Dear Princess Ariel, thank you for thank you for helping me practice this singing. Your friend Larsa. Oh dear, Ariel. Oh, dear. I the second was lovely, but it sounded it wasn't clue. Uh, Ariel loves drawing. That teacher said just yesterday. I asked my students to make a picture for this best friend. Long as couldn't wait to get to get started. Best friend, Ariel explained. Maybe she drew a picture of Costella. <laughs> Miss Todd took Ariel to flung down on the desk, showing the picture it is in her somewhere. Ariel looking through a full folder. Ariel found a picture less than my best friend. Two girls were in the drawing. One was glorious. One short brown hair. And the other girl had wavy brown, brown hair. It had to be girls. And she says it was a mermaid. Ariel thanked Miss Tom and ran back to Mrs. home. First, <coughs> Mrs. Mrs. Hayes look up as it when she entered the area. Princess, none. But the parents knew Acosta. Do you have better luck? Yes, Ariel explained. She quickly told Mrs. Hayes what she had discovered. Oh, the sun really be a mermaid. Mrs. Hankins asked. It does make sense, Ariel said. Look at the clues. Thor met her by the ocean. She tried by, by her sweet dress. And Mrs. Hankins wanted to keep their friendship a secret. She must be a mermaid. But when did... When is my daughter? Mrs. Hannes asked. Ariel smiled. I think I know just how to find out. Ariel led Mrs. Hannes to the beach and called for the, her friends, Sebastian and my Ariel asked them to search her father, King Trines, so he could transform her back into the mermaid. In no time at all, Ariel was sent up uh, under the sea. After asked mm, the Muskin, Ariel and her father found Costa family's garden. The young mermaid wa was there, and she was very nervous. <laughs> You're not in trouble. <laughs> Ariel and Costa. We just want to know where is is. Her father is very worried. I don't want anyone to worry, said the sister softly. She led and Ariel and her into her bedroom. It's all right, Costigan said. You can come out slowly. Larsa swam out of um, under Santa's bed. Ariel gasped. Larsa, you're here and... You're a mermaid too. <laughs> Me too, Isabel. It's not my hole. It's in the carcassee. 
Underwater, underwater. It's so hard to explain, Rugga just sneezed. When I went to see Kirsten this morning, I was in a worry. My star ship oh necklace as we were splashing in the water. I told strength that I wish I could play with the uh, under the ocean for real. Da of a student. My necklace lit up and I turned into a mermaid. Be ready. The show must be magical, so we thought we could just wish Lantern to be a human again later. <laughs> but while we, mm, we were playing on the octopus slide, where's in the sand? My necklace got swept away in a curtain. I didn't know what to do. Suddenly, Costa spot Ariel's star. Shout! Necklace! Oh, princess, you found it! That means we can wish! Learn human again! <laughs> Ariel looks to her father. King Try and smile kindly. I'm afraid the lantern of the star shell. What's a little tinker, he said. Come with me to the surface! And I looking at the surface. Come, King Try and help of the star shell. It glitter in the sunlight. Star shells can only grant one wish, he said. In order to undo the wish, the shell must be broken. Cousins turn to Lorna. When <laughs> you're human again, will you still visit me by the ocean? Of course, Lorna said with a smile. Together. Everyone swam back to shore. Then Ariel handed Lauren the star shell. It's up to you now. Lara lit the shell high up in the air, paused, and then brought it down against a large flat rock. I'm a burst, I'm light. A <laughs> mermaid tail and changed back into legs. I'm human, Lara cried. <laughs> She crosses, crosses tightly. It was a wonderful adventure. We still eat and see each other all the time. I promise. And send them to send the rest over. Laga, thank you, goodness, you're safe. Oh, daddy. Laga cried. I have so much to tell you. Oh, sweetheart, that's so beautiful. A few days later, Ariel asked Cousin and Landa to meet her by the water. I present for the you boobs, Ariel said. Uh, she handed girls to brand new necklace. Men from the star show. They are beautiful. Thank you, Princess Ariel. Cause said, Ariel smiled when I was wearing the, sh the star show. It was like carrying a part of the ocean with me. Now you too can always carry a piece of your adventure with you whatever you go. Whatever you go, where and tell you? I'll tell you <laughs> the starfish.